Physics departments on college campuses across Kelowland are marveling at the just completed NASA mission that collected samples from a near Earth asteroid. The spacecraft carrying the samples landed in the Utah desert on Sunday. The cosmic payload could give researchers new insights into how our solar system formed and maybe even the origin of life on Earth. And Kevin Lance Perry Groton has reaction from Augustana University about the project's impact in the classroom. Augustana's physics department calls the OSIRIS-REx mission to an asteroid and back nothing short of mind-boggling. I don't know if I can describe just how difficult it is to land on a moving body like that. That's that so small <laughs> that, that you know, the force of gravity from that thing is nothing compared to the force of gravity on Earth, so it's not like you even stay there, you sort of bounce. The space capsule launched back in 2016 and traveled billions of miles before returning to Earth over the weekend. It's a lesson to students about the painstaking patience required when doing science. When you stop and think about that, the students that are at Augustana, they would have been in middle school or even elementary school, most of them, when we launched this mission and we're only now getting the data back from it now. Just something as simple as that can take years to get there and come back. Like, I can't even imagine what else is out there. The OSIRIS-REx mission is expected to be a topic of conversations inside of Augie classrooms and serve as a kind of launching pad for interest in the field of astronomy. Physics, astronomy is definitely something that I'm interested in and it's definitely nice to know that um, there are a lot of future projects that might be coming up or there's still a lot to learn that I can go into. Space dust from an asteroid sprinkling the imaginations of young minds about the potential of science far beyond the confines of the classroom. In Sioux Falls, Perry Groton, Kelloland News. And Augie physics teachers point out that this is the first time that NASA has brought back samples from space, from space uh, since the Apollo moon landings. Interesting stuff. Yeah.